G'day everyone. I don't play my pedals as much as I used to. I just don't have the time with family life and the web store and all that sort of stuff. Things getting busier with all of those things. Um, and um, I wish I did because I, I, I miss just sitting down and playing my guitar and you know hooking the effects up and mucking around with effects. Uh, I miss those days which I don't get much time for um, these days. Um, but I was thinking, I was looking at them the other day and I was thinking I wonder how many of those effects actually have developed issues and obviously it'd be difficult for me to do a video, it just takes so long for me to do a video to go through every single one and test every dial and everything, make sure everything still works. Um, but I thought maybe I'd pull out some of the older ones that I've got um, and would, could test those and see if they're still, see if they're still working properly, uh, if they've developed any issues. Um, so I've got a selection on the floor down here. I'll um, point the camera at it so you can see. So this is just ones I've randomly picked. Two I got in my hand are the FSH, which is an incredibly complicated pedal, and I think it was probably about number 15 or mm, 20 maybe that I built. Uh, one of my favourites actually. <laughs> I hope it still works. And that's the first pedal that I built, the NPM Booster. Um, I actually tested that recent, uh, about two years ago. I did a video on um, the first pedal I ever built and I tested it and it actually worked. Um, so some of the other ones that we've got here, I might actually get a couple of older ones. Um, these are all relatively new, uh, maybe a Big Muff and a Tone Bender as well. Uh, well, they're not, they're not exactly new. Um, they're probably, like that's kind of halfway through the deal. Um, there towards the um, earlier, that's an early one, that's, a, that's quite an early one. This actually had, the um, Hot Cake clone actually had issues um, when I built it, it's always had issues, so um, I can't remember what the issue was, maybe intermittent um, cutting out or something like that, so we can have a look at that. So I don't, the, with that said, I don't expect all these pedals to actually work, I expect some of them to, to have issues, which of course for me raises the question of do do-it-yourself pedals have reliability problems? Um, you know, like somebody that doesn't know how to solder properly, they don't know how to use flux properly, they don't know how to wire things properly or reliably. Do those things last as long as something if you bought it from a factory? I, I'd say straight up, no, they're not going to. They're going to be they're going to be less reliable generally, particularly if the builder has hasn't got much experience, but. By how much? I mean, I've built a lot of pedals. Let's say I've got 150 pedals in there. I, I can't. I don't know. Maybe there's 100, 150. I'm not sure. Uh, but let's say that how many of those would actually not work? You know, what's the percentage rate that that of those that wouldn't work? I would say majority of those would be the earlier ones that don't work. Um, the learning part, you know. Um, and when I say the majority of the early ones, I'm talking maybe out of you know the first 50, maybe four that have maybe a few little issues. Would you get that with a commercial pedal? You probably, you're gonna get, I mean, yeah, you can't escape problems whether it's commercial or do it yourself, but you're probably gonna get a bit of a higher ratio with do it yourself, just because of the, just because the person that's building it is inexperienced. Um, so anyway, let's, enough talking, let's just, I'm just gonna plug these in one, and a, one after another and say working or not working, and we'll see. Um, which ones work and which ones don't. I know there's a couple in there that don't work, so we're going to get a few that don't work. Um, but let's let's um, plug them up and see what they um, and see if they work. Working. 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 Working.
think it's working. Dead. Working. 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 This one I always thought had issues, so I'm interested to see if it works or not. Looks like it's working. 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 Not sure. Working. So that is the test sample. I've got many more pedals, obviously I don't have time to, as I said before, to, to test them all. So if we just take a look in the cupboard, that's what I've got. Most of those are newer, there's a couple of old ones in there, but most of them are newer. So, and there's a few down the bottom there too, you can see. Um, so the question is, um, I, I, well, okay. The two on the right are the ones that are suspected broken. The, one, the love pedal didn't work, which is strange because uh, it's worked fine up till now. I don't know why that stopped working. Um, and the tube screamer is on the fence because the tone control seems to increase volume, but I'm not sure if that's just the way that that particular tone control works where the volume increases a lot. Some of them do that. As you add more content to the signal, it gets louder. Um, so it gives the impression that, you, that you're increasing volume. I'm not sure about that one though. It could possibly be busted. I, that was that was number four pedal that I built, or number five possibly. Um, so it's very early on, and I could have stuffed something something up very easily um, with that one. So that could have been um, inexperienced error with the tube screamer. So that's it of those. We've got one that's dead and one that's on the fence. Um, so 
I what do what what did I get out of this? I tell you what I got out of this. Actually, one thing that probably wasn't quite expected. This input on my little power filter is knackered. It just keeps turning off. I'm trying to um, test the pedals and the and the lights are going on and off. And I'm thinking, oh gee, this one's got an issue too. But it's actually this input on the power um, disconnecting and switching the power off on the pedals. Um, so uh, I think I got these off eBay. These external jacks and they're absolute. Just, just if you're going to get them and you want cheap ones, maybe just get them from somewhere. At least I can't believe I'm going to recommend it, but get them from like Tadar, where you know that a lot of other people before you have bought um, the same jack, and so you know that um, that at least you know it's been filtered through the community. Um, don't just buy them from random people on eBay because you get rubbish ones like this. I'm having, I've had so many issues with these external um, DC jacks I got from eBay. So that's it, a little look at some of my pedals at least and the reliability. Um, uh, once they work, they tend to just keep going without a problem. The, the problem with this love pedal is probably going to be some minor thing. I might open it up and have a look inside and if it turns into an interesting topic, I'll record a video on what was actually wrong with it. Um, but yeah, I mean, once they go, they go. You occasionally get a problem. But the other good thing, of course, is being a pedal builder, I can usually I can fix it pretty easily. Not often that you hit a problem that you can't fix. So that's it. Thank you for watching and hope you got something out of that. Keep building pedals. It's lots of fun.